if you're using HubSpot CRM to log and track emails, you might come up on a situation where you don't want to log and track that email. But how do you set that in the CRM and restrict it from tracking going forward? We'll explain that here in this video. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot CRM makes it really easy to log and track the communications that you have with your contacts, prospects, and customers. But there are some times that you most likely email through your Gmail or Microsoft Outlook that you don't wanna track those email communications. Maybe it's to your accountant, maybe it's to your lawyer or your investors, or maybe it's just your mom or your spouse. You don't want that communication to end up in HubSpot. There's a couple of settings that you need to know in order for you to turn that off so you're not always checking at it. So let's dive in and take a look at where those three places are and how you can set that for the future. So we're gonna start here in our Gmail setup and you'll notice that I have Gmail integrated with my HubSpot CRM. If you want some help on that, we've got a different video, but here you can notice that I've got it set automatically to log and track an email. So when I type someone's name in here, so let's just type in a test email address here, it will automatically say you can log and track this. But this actually gets set in your log and track settings, which come from this little gear up here. So I'm gonna check out of this for just a second and pull up in this gear. It's going to look similar if you happen to have Microsoft Outlook or 365, it's going to be up in the top ribbon part of that interface. But if I click on log and track settings here, what it's going to tell me here is I'm telling HubSpot and Gmail to work together to always log and always track an email and attach it to new contacts, to companies, and deals. So if it's a new contact, it'll create a new record. If it's a current contact in the system, it will just attach it to that contact. So again, always, always, always. And then there's this area down here that says, why don't you never log emails that get sent to these addresses? So if I set that up here, what that does is it tells HubSpot, you know what, anytime I email someone from this domain, where it's got multiple people here that's actually set up as a, everyone in the organization is not gonna track that. Or if it's got a single person here, that means I've set that up just for me. So I've got folks here that I do not want that information tracked. So you can either add that here if you want to. So I'll add another name here. And I don't wanna track that ever. So block users just for me. And that would go in there. And again, that way my kids don't get any emails from me. And if I wanted to, I can actually turn this off. So by default, if I turn this on and start a new window, you'll notice that this is not tracked at this time. So I actually like to, you know, keep the things tracked when I can. So I wanna default this on, and then I can watch it as I do it each time. So in your inbox is one of those places that you can do that. The other place we can do that is actually in the user preferences and settings in HubSpot. So over here in user preferences, we're actually in the general preferences, and then we're over here in email. We got there by going on the gear icon, general email. So if you have your email inbox connected to HubSpot, it should show here that it's connected. And if I scroll down, you'll see that that same thing that I just set up over in Gmail is right here. And here we can see that this is blocked for all users or only me. So again, if I wanted to add a new domain here, let's say that I've got someone that um, is from a domain, um, let's say, you know, the cookie company.com, I could say I wanted to add that domain and never track that email in here. So again, the things here that make a lot of sense, I've had a lot of um, folks ask about, well, I don't really want private sensitive financial information that I received to go into HubSpot. Again, that email address or the entire domain from that accounting firm would likely need to go into HubSpot. So this is going to be your never log area. We can also set this up for the entire organization. If we go into settings and then on the left-hand side, we go over here to objects and then select activities. So we can set up entire organization wide, not tracking or basically block that email address from logging content in HubSpot down here. So if it says never log, again, we are doing this for all users here and I can click on add emails or domains right here. So again, that's another spot in HubSpot. The last thing you wanna keep in mind here is there's a, um, a checkbox here if you want to allow all your users to log email attachments. So if an email attachment goes out to a customer or to a contact in your Gmail, it will automatically get logged as an attachment in the contact record. Sometimes this is very helpful because then those things get tracked as, as you know, communications, but in some, in some cases you don't want those attachments living in HubSpot. It might be sensitive information. So again, you can turn this on or turn this off for your entire organization. So a quick review, if you don't yet have this um, installed here at the top, you wanna go install that and then your email integration settings can be managed, log and track here in the Gmail interface 
or again in the settings over on the back end of HubSpot. So that's it. Hopefully using these tips and tricks, you can keep some of those sensitive information emails out of your HubSpot CRM and everybody's happy. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next week.